slope is defined as rise over run. So an easy way to visualize slope is to picture staircases or ski slopes, anything that has something to do with elevation. So when we look at this particular example, the staircase is difficult to walk up using one step at a time because it is a very deep staircase. The rise of each step is 6.5 inches. And the run of each step is 28 inches deep. So if we want to calculate the slope, we write it as the rise over the run. And we write it as a fraction reduced in lowest terms. So the easy way to remove a decimal within a fraction is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10. So we get 65 over 280. They both have a 5 in common, so that will reduce to 13 over 56. And we typically use the letter M to stand for slope. So here's a second example. If the total rise of this staircase is 10 feet and its run is 7.5 feet, What is its slope? So again, slope is rise over run. We're rising 10 feet. We are running 7.5 feet. We don't like to have decimals and fractions, so we have 5 tenths here. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10, we eliminate the decimal. We reduce and we can see that this is much, much steeper than 1356. This is one and a third and 1356 is as a decimal about 0.2. Here we have a ladder that extends up the house 160 inches. and its base is 54 inches away from the base of the house. So what is its slope? Slope is rise over run. We're rising 160. We are running 54. That reduces to 80 over 27. So that's our slope. So which was steeper? The staircase before with a slope of four thirds or this ladder with a slope of 80 27ths. Four thirds we said was 1.3 repeating. 80 20ths would be about four. 80 27ths is just under three. So when you compare two slopes, three is larger than one and a third, so the latter is the steeper of the two. Now let's talk about two edge cases. A football field has zero rise over a lot of run. In this case, 100 yards. zero divided by 100 is zero. So anytime you have no rise and a lot of run, your slope is zero. A climbing wall, on the other hand, has a lot of rise, but no run. So your slope is perhaps 10 feet here over zero. 10 feet of rise, zero run. We know that we can't divide by zero, that's undefined, 
so that we say a vertical slope is undefined.